All right, everyone, on today's elevator parts video, we have this Westinghouse triangle button. Now, this thing is pretty interesting, and if you've ever seen these buttons out in the field before, they're pretty neat. You've got these little triangle bits here and these little buttons, but this button is missing something, a whole lot of something. It's missing a way to actually, well, work. So in this video, we're gonna fix that. Let's go ahead and get started. So obviously this is the cover, the plate, the part of the button that you would see when it's actually in service. However, the guts of this are missing. That is a way when you push this button, this completes some sort of contact and then there is some sort of light that lights up in here. Today we are going to be building something to do that. So this is my idea for what we can do. I've got this like kind of uh, almost like wood material, but it's very soft and it's pretty durable as well. And I'm thinking what we can do, I've already pre-cut the piece. We can use this as kind of a back. We can drill a few holes in it, add a few components and basically make our own little circuit. So this is gonna be a pretty quick and easy video of doing that. And of course, with any other restoration and rebuilding projects, we're gonna clean up the actual plate as well and make this thing look a lot nicer. So these are all the parts I'm gonna to use to make this thing work. We've got two little buttons, which the little pieces will push into to activate. We've got two LEDs. One is red, one is green. Uh, pretty sure this is the green one and this is the red one. And we've also got a little resistor as well. And we'll mount all of those onto this little board. guys you can see here the button is complete and when we press the buttons they light up and I think it looks pretty good I'm really proud with how this came out put a lot of energy and time into designing that little board on the back and I'm really happy with the results now they don't press exactly like triangle buttons should because triangle buttons have a pretty interesting press to them but these still press very nicely very different too, but it's very cool. And I'm glad I could get this button working again. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little short video on this build process. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.